Okay, Coach Palmer, so it looks like you guys are going to finish third, right? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, you look at the competition level, defensive duels. What do you want the kids to get out of it here? Honestly, just good good competitions like, like we're getting. I think um, overall, I mean, we had a couple ups and downs throughout the tournament, but overall everything was pretty good. I mean, these guys are coming here competing. I know it's close to the holidays. Things are, you know, kids are, man, they're, <laughs> they're all worked up about Santa. So um, it's pretty good overall, though. Second year coming, it's good stuff. Then you guys have been in the gold pool every year. Um, obviously, your club continues to grow. Um, you're a head high school coach now, right? Yes. How sales. is how is that going? <laughs> it's uh, it's awesome. It's slowly growing, slowly but surely, getting all the support back and uh, trying to rebuild it back to where it was. You know, try to get the the pipeline going, kind of like how West Shore is with St. Ed's. I got to kind of refunnel all that for you know the next couple of years, and then once we get that going, everything should be all right. But um, uh, we got a few guys. We got some freshmen, sophomore. They're fighters, man. They're doing well. Just got to get some technique under their belt. They'll be all right. So it's going pretty well. Dealing with Guy Seiko and defense self, what's that been like for you? Oh, Guy Seiko's awesome. I've known him since I was about six, seven years old, wrestling for West Shore, and uh, he's always been uh, he's always been a great guy to us, my family, and everything else. So um, you know, we always use the defense product and everything else at our club. So we got a pretty thick relationship there. All right, um, your brother's going for another million dollars, isn't he? Yep. Is he going to float you or I alone after he knocks this guy's next guy out? I think out? so. Uh, we'll have to see what's going on with my bank account, your bank account. <laughs> How long it takes to transfer the funds. Does he live in Columbus? Yeah, he lives right in Minerva Park. He's right down the street from me. So, like, right where um, DeSales is, right up the road, it used to be a big golf course. And they uh, leveled it out and uh, developed it. So he bought a house there about a year and a half ago. So he just travels for his training camps and then he's home usually January through uh, March or April. -ish. He gets this next mail. Let's just say we're going we're gonna to put the W in the book, right? Because we, we're positive thinkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you planning on getting? Well, I don't want anything, to be honest with you. I just want him to win. Um, right. If he retires, do you think we could see him back in coaching wrestling? Oh, yeah, I think uh, I think it'd be a huge asset. It's funny you say that. We were just discussing this last week. Um, there's definitely a need for some top riding in a lot of the bigger universities. So, obviously, if you can ride a guy, you know, it helps you out in a lot of those matches, especially with the riding time and everything else. Um, I think he wants to. It just the money's got to be right, I would, I would assume, especially with how much he's about to pocket, you know, so we'll see. Sure All right. Shoe Law's coming up here. That kid's an animal. Let's go out and watch this. <laughs> I, listen, he's must-see TV. He's explosive. Let's get it, all right? Let's get it.